Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. So, I got my hands on some super, super wicked 300 blackout ammo. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't seen 300 blackout ammo for sale in like 12 months. But this stuff is super cool. If you look close, it's got some like CNC machine cuts in there that makes this some wicked, wicked expanding rounds. So, a little while back, I did a video showing these this exact same ammo shooting it into water and at 50 yards that is the projectile that we caught so it has three of those CNC cuts and expands nastily into something like that one of the petals uh, that we uh, caught flaked off of that bullet but saved that bullet in the water but um, today I want to make a real quick video, shoot it into some sand, and see if we can recover the rounds. Here's what we're working with right here. I do not know these folks, but I got a hold of the ammo. It's a 110 grain, 300 blackout round. Does it say anywhere on here how fast it's going? Uh, 2200 feet per second is what they're saying. I haven't chronographed it, so definitely supersonic stuff's going real fast. Um, I'm thinking when we shoot it in some sand, it's probably going to break apart. Uh, we might catch some more expanded ones. Uh, like we did this one. When we shot this one in the water, it was going so fast, it wouldn't uh, stay together until uh, we went back to 50 yards. If you got a shorter barrel, my 300 black route, blackout is a 16-inch barrel. If you got a shorter barrel, it may expand probably um, at a shorter distance because it's going slower. But... Um, this is going to be a short video. I'm going to try to catch some of these in some sand. See what happens if we can catch those bullets. Uh, I try to make videos that I want to watch so I don't fill my videos full up a bunch of nonsense. Let's get right to it. See if we can catch these 300 blackout bullets uh, in some sand. See what happens. Should be pretty fun. So here is the bucket of sand. I'm going to try to catch these rounds in. You can see it's been out here in the rain. This is actually a leftover from a different video where we caught it. 30 out six and 50 BMG in some bullets. So the sand caught 50 BMG. It can definitely catch 300 blackout. It's just a matter of whether or not these are going to stay intact or the, in the sand or just kind of get pulverized into a bunch of pieces. But let's go fling some 300 blackout into some sand and see what happens. I'm probably going to get um, covered in water and sand. All right, so now I'm back here at 50 yards. Got three of those bad boys loaded up in my mag here. My 300 blackout, for anybody who's curious, this is my CMMG Resolute 16 inch barrel. Let's uh, see if we can hit that bucket at 50 yards here. Shoot one off real quick, see where we're at. I'm pretty sure I hit that bucket. But let me run up there real quick and make sure I hit it. We're not wasting a bunch of like $5 bullets here. All right, so I'm pretty sure we missed that bucket. Apparently, these rounds are not hitting where I had this sighted in with some completely different heavier ammo. So loaded up quite a few more in the mag. I'm just going to give it the beans, aim some high, aim some low, and all in between. And surely, uh, at least a couple of these, we're going to hit that bucket down there. So see what happens. I'm going to hold high once and just shoot one. There we go. I think aiming low is the ticket there. All right, so last round hold open. I definitely know we hit that bucket. Once I started aiming low, we were slapping it pretty good. But let's go see uh, see if those went through one bucket of sand, and uh, hopefully we caught some of those cool rounds. But let's go see what happens. All right, so hadn't shot my 300 blackout in a little while. Like I said earlier, ammo is kind of hard to come by for 300 blackout variety here lately. But holding at the bottom of the bucket where that red dot is sighted in right now was the ticket. And I definitely know we put some holes in the front of that. Let's see if any of them went all the way through. If you guys haven't seen some of the recent videos, uh, sand 
is an incredible, incredible stopper. I won't spoil it, but we shot these same buckets with 50 BMG in a video not too long ago. And you might be surprised at how many buckets of sand it took to stop a 50 BMG. But let's look at this bucket. Coming around to the front. Let's look at the front first. Man, the sun is just not in our uh, favor here from this angle. So let's look at it from this way. So there's the front. We got a hole there, 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 there. So we got five holes in the front of this bucket. Now, here's the, the question. Do we have holes in the back of the bucket? So, coming around to the back, I only see one hole up here at the top. I think that's it. So all that copper is in this sand, that one at the top, just completely missed the sand. You can see that's where it hit the front and then came out the back. So that much sand is enough to stop some supersonic 300 blackout. Now the trick is going to be, can we pour this sand out somewhere where we might be able to find some of those copper things down in that sand let's uh set it up and see what we can all right so if those rounds stayed together we probably should be able to find them but if they splatterized which is very possible those fast supersonic rounds might be hard to find them but <clears throat> i'm gonna kind of pour out a little train here and we'll kick around some sand probably would have been easier to find it in some dry sand huh I don't know about you guys, but uh, I don't see any shiny bits yet. But oh, here we go. Here's a good stick. From the smell of it, I think I found the spot where the dogs like to uh, do number two over here. But I'm gonna kind of sift through this and see if we can find something worth finding through this sand here. I will be right back. All right, so I'm gonna be completely honest. I did not think this was gonna work, but as you can see. By the ground here and by this hand i kept this hand sandless because i got a bunch more videos to film today and i don't want sand all over my bang bangs but uh i did not think we were going to find those with that 16 inch barrel and those rounds going pretty fast i didn't think we were going to find them i thought that i was just looking for some you know bits and pieces here in the sand but i found all five of those i set them off to the side here so i wouldn't lose them in the grass but let me show you those and then we'll wash them off I think this is going to be ridiculous. Uh, probably what's going to beat the thumbnail. But I haven't seen them washed off yet. Let me show you exactly how I pulled them out of the sand here. If I can get this camera off without getting my hand all over it. Or my sand all over this camera. Like I said, I just set these off to the side here. But check this out. This is what they look like before I washed them off. I'm pretty sure... These are going to be pretty wicked, especially that one, uh, once I wash these off. Oh no, I started to shove that one down on the crack. Let me put my camera down so I can use two hands, and I'll show us washing these off with some water here. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm just going to pour some water over them here real quick. Well, now you can't see nothing because I just made a big muddy puddle there, didn't I? Well, that was great. But... I think we're actually doing something here. That is looking pretty wild. Well, I think that water did what we wanted it to. Let's get it uh, out here and dry them off real quick and take a closer look at them. All right, now, out here in the sun and dried off, check that out. They all pretty much did exactly the same thing see the front edge is kind of roughed there from hitting the sand and then they all kind of came out into those petals there but where the sand kind of roughed them up almost like sandpaper that is pretty pretty wild but impressive to say the least they all stay together just straight up smacking a wall of sand there <laughs> And there's a spider on my head. Hate spiders. But, man, wicked, wicked 300 blackout. That's probably the coolest, actually, it is the coolest 
300 blackout ammo I have ever seen. So, I don't know about you guys, but that was pretty, pretty wild. And like I said, I did not expect that to work. So, there's one that we caught in water. Only caught one in the water. And then, here are those that we caught in the sand. Pretty, pretty cool. So, let me know if you guys would like to uh, get one of these. We're always doing all kind of giveaways. Comment down below, hey, I'd like to have one of these. Uh, if this video gets to 100,000 views, we'll ship some of these out and pick some random comments. But always appreciate you guys watching. That was some of this Defiant stuff. Absolutely the most wicked uh, 300 blackout ammo I've ever seen. Now, again, I don't know these guys are not paying me to say any of this, but I did get my hands on that 300 blackout ammo, and that stuff is super, super wicked. Appreciate you guys watching big time. Don't forget to check out all the links down below. We've got tons of videos, guys. If there's something that floats your boat, go back and search the channel. I think we got 1,200, 1,300 videos on just about everything out there. Go check them out. Comment down below ideas for future videos. Big shout out and a big thanks to Heavy Metal. Y'all go down below and subscribe to their channel as well. We'll see you guys on the next one. Nasty, nasty, 300 blackout. Hoodoo! Load it up and